For thousands of years, vampires have held a place in our world, and for the last hundred years in particular, a strong grip on popular culture. Personally, I myself have dressed as a vampire many times for Halloween and other occasions. Hello there, my friends. In this video, we're making a scary looking Nosferatu style vampire for your games. I've already used him in Frostgrave and the Silver Bayonet, and have plans for him in Mordheim, D&D, and more. This is an easy build because all you need is a robed or fancy dressed body, arms to make a scary action pose, and a creepy looking bald head. I'm kit bashing two box sets to make my vampire, Frostgrave Wizards and Mantic Kings of War Ghouls. The Wizards box will give us the body and the arms. I chose this robed body because I think it looks good for like an ancient vampire. For the arms, I wanted him to have more of a grasping claws look, like a fierce animal. So I'm using this pair of arms here. That's a good start, but to really seal the vampire look, you need a scary looking bald head, ideally with fangs. I found a perfect head in this Mantic Ghouls box. This head is excellent. So bald and sinister looking, baring his teeth, perfect for a Nosferatu vampire. There is one issue, however. Unlike the Frostgrave heads, the Mantic Ghoul's heads don't have a neck, so we'll have to build one. We'll cut off a little piece of the sprue and cut that into a couple tiny pieces. Then you just build them up to where the head sits right and glue it all together. And that's all there is to it. You see we've got him in sort of a lunging pose with the claw-like hands. The sinister face baring its fangs and the evil glare. A very simple project, but one that can add a lot of scary flavor and horror to your games as you make your own vampire minis. As always, thank you so much for watching my friends. Take care, until next time.